welcome back everybody, Rooster2988 here, and I'm back here with another Minecraft mod tutorial. This mod tutorial will be on the shaders mod, and this mod is excellent. I mean, if you have a high running computer, then this shouldn't be a problem uh, running it, but it, it does lag your computer, so I recommend installing Optifine with it. So, I'm going to put this link in the description below. So what you want to do is scroll down until you see these links. You want to click that link and then it will just take you to a direct download. I already put it onto my desktop over here. Um, oh wait, hold on. Okay, sorry about that. <coughs> okay. Um, so yeah, you want to click on this, it'll take you to an ad fly. Uh, I made a mistake, I actually do have to do this procedure. It'll take you to an ad fly where you have to wait around 5 seconds, and then you want to click skip ad. Then it'll take you to a media fire, then you click download. Drag this WinRAR file onto your desktop, and then here's my forge. I already installed forge. So, oh God. ads, see what they do. Jesus, I don't know if you guys noticed that. Um, after that, you want to go to downloads, click what I just did, and then you want to go to spoiler underneath download, and then click download to. It'll take you to a Dropbox, you click it, and then it'll install it right here. The file looks like this. Forge. Now we are done that. I'll take you to this Forge site. Over here it says latest 1.6.4. You want to click installer. It'll take you to an ad fly and then you install it. So once you have all these, all three of these files, you want to double click Forge. Click OK and run it. Now you want to open up your Minecraft launcher to boot up everything. Then you want to click on profile and click Forge. Click play, play. And this will essentially um, load up all the Forge files, get everything set up. Whoops, and it'll, it's supposed to say three mods loaded. If it says four, then I don't know, you, you might have put another mod in before. So now we have Forge installed. Uh, now what you can do is go to percent app data percent go into your roaming folder go into your dot minecraft go into your mods and then you want to get shaders and then drag it into your mods close that start up your minecraft again make sure it's forged click play i know i'm running on 1.7.4 but this mod didn't update so i was just one um saying to myself, hey, why don't we just make a tutorial? So it says four mods loaded now. Oh, whoops. <laughs> that was stupid. Uh, yeah, so it says four mods loaded, which means you got the shaders going. Uh, hopefully I don't make the same mistake. Why is this so large? There we go. So, go to mods just for proof, shader works. Go to options, go to shaders, and then click open shaders pack folder. Now you want to go back to your desktop, get the WinRAR folder, click, hold, and drag into the shaders pack. Close that up, open your Minecraft again, and over here you'll see that. Just double click it, click done. Uh, we'll just go to my roller coaster world, click play. And everything is smooth. Uh, these blocks are from the new version of Minecraft 1.7.4. They're stained glass. That's why it looks a bit odd. I probably shouldn't use this world. But I wanted to choose it because I was building a roller coaster. It doesn't look too bad. The stupid rain is kind of annoying. 
but you can tell it's really realistic. I mean, you can tell that it, if you were there, it, this is how it would look in the weather that it, weather conditions that we are in now. As you can see, what I'm holding in my hand is kind of blurry, and that's what I was saying. Those blue links where we installed this is just a default uh, shader pack, but you can also download multiple shader packs which will get rid of blurriness it'll add more detail so let's just check I'm running at 20 FPS on an average I mean that's still okay I can still function very well it's not lagging um, also what you can do is go to options video settings and go to fast but then there's no point in that because then why do you have shaders now I'm I it bumped up around three to four uh FPS and you can you can do anything with that much FPS. I mean you don't need much. Thirty at the most. I run Minecraft regularly at two hundred FPS. I have a gaming laptop at MSI. Uh and you can also put um smooth lighting off. It won't look as good, but then again, you can see my FPS FP, FPS went up higher. Uh, so you can just bug around with these render distance. You can put it short, and then it will be up to 30. But I like, since my computer is a high-end laptop, uh, I'd like to put them at high features. So you can see it's very nice. And if we go to the water, it's very realistic. It's like all wavy. It's really cool. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. That was it for today. I'm sorry if it stretched out a bit too long at the end, as I was explaining myself. But yeah, it's a really cool mod, especially when you're making videos. Like if you're making a, a look around in the Minecraft world, then this would definitely be the mod for you. Just make sure to get Optifine so that when you're recording, it won't lag. All right, guys, that was it for today. Peace out.